Hey, Lonzo, I want to ask you first about the front court. Uh, so the guys hadn't really played together since Kuz had been coming off the bench, but he and Brandon and Brooke all seemed to be going off. But what did you think was clicking for them, and, and how did you try to uh, facilitate that? Um, well, when they're all three going, you know, it makes my job a lot easier. Um, and as you see, Brooke couldn't be stopped today. You know, Kuz always going to do his thing, and then B.I. came ready to play. So um, it was a beautiful thing to watch out there, and uh, that's why we came out with the win. You know, Luke said, of course, Larry was really good in that starting lineup, especially defensively, but uh, Kuz provides a certain element, spaces the floor, uh, something that can help your game especially. How does that help you? What, what, what does Kuz do with that lineup? It's a new look, like you said. Um, you know, when he sets the screen, he can roll and he can pop. So um, he has three-point shooting, and he definitely spaces the floor a lot for us. So it's a new element and um, definitely helps us out. You know, Brooklyn kept battling, but you guys managed to keep them at a relatively safe distance up until late in the fourth. What did you have to do to k keep executing down the stretch once they got within four? I just run we wanted to run. You know, um, they play hard. They play hard the whole time, um, regardless of what the score was, and we knew that coming in. So um, they made a good run at the end, but unfortunately enough, you know, we came out on top. What did you see when you looked back at some of the film from last night's game in Portland, and, and how did that impact, if at all, uh, the way that you pursued your shots and the way that you went after things tonight? Um, you know, just very passive. There's a lot of gaps I can get into, um, get to the basket majority of the time. So um, that's all I was trying to do today. You know, unfortunately, shots didn't go down, but um, they were all right there. Why is it important to, for you to take that shot? Like last game, you just guys won. Keep the defense guessing. You know, everybody playing me for the pass, so you know I can get into the lanes and um, just gotta take advantage of that. Was it you're finding it a little difficult to finish? And in, in, in the said, Luke said he likes that you're taking that challenge on tonight, but it's it's. A, a learning process. It's something new for me, you know. Um, just got to keep going. Is being passive kind of just like the more natural state, so you've got to think about it twice when they want you to be more uh, passive? Definitely. You know, my whole life I've been pretty much passing. My brothers went to UCLA, had great shooters on the floor, so um, it's a little new for me, but um, I'll get used to it. Does the coaching staff talk to you like, during the games, let you know when when they want you to attack more? Um, the yeah, assistant coaches help a lot, you know, on the side, you know, just help me to keep pushing. What has Ryan Shaw been telling you? Yeah, he's the main influence. Um, he sees a lot of gaps that um, I definitely see, but um, just got to take advantage of them. Are teams, are you noticing defenses playing you any differently now that there's a, additional games of tape for them to look at? Are you, are you seeing some different looks? Um, I mean, it's pretty much all been the same. Under the screen, um, when it gets to the lane, you know, you're going to pass it. Do you turn on, like, TNT and listen to their commentary, their, their take on you after the game last night? No. I just say whatever my coaches say, you know, leave it at that. Bill, how do you feel through nine games, just four and five overall? Do you feel like the team's kind of uh, understanding each other's roles, comfortable? Going I think we're games? making uh, strides. You know, I feel like we could have, you know, won a couple games we let go. But um, we're still a young team. It's only been nine games, so I like where we're headed. Hey, what do you, how about just physically, kind of the three, a lot of three games, I think it's the second stretch of three games at four nights. Uh, can you feel that? And does the, does the also additional level of training in the NBA and the days to work on it, does that help balance some of it out? It's still early, and the training staff is great, so I haven't felt it yet. But um, I assume, you know, throughout the year, I'm gonna feel it. So you're feeling in, in just condition-wise, though, now between now and like when you got to start preseason, are you feeling are you feeling pretty good that way? Yeah, I feel I feel pretty good.